Michelle from michellebennett.com and you're watching Dream Homies TV, your weekly source for inspiration to create a home that you love. And today's question comes from Amy. Our main living room where we spend all of our time is dark. There are two windows, one from the side of the house and one at the front but under a porch overhead. We have lamps all over the place but they aren't bright enough and the overhead lights are too bright. Add to that complication of a new TV that is larger and now reflects the lamps, so we have to shut them off when the TV is on. I am living in the dark. I am very, very happy you asked me this. Why? Because this is such a common mistake. Lighting is one of those things that so many people get wrong. Light is so important to a room's design. It can help enhance atmosphere, improve romance, right ladies? and it can really enhance the color in the room as well. So there's a few key things that you wanna consider. So I'm gonna give you three tips, and then at the end of the video, I'll give you a few more tips, more specific to your situation. Tip number one is gonna be the same thing I feel like I keep telling everybody all of the time, and that is really understand the functionality of the space. There you have it. You know, romance it, take it out to dinner. No, don't do that, that's weird. Um, but no, I really want you to understand your space and how you use it. So, you know, the way you light something uh, for tasks is gonna be different than the way you light something for, you know, just general conversation. So really think about where you're doing different activities in the room and how much light you need. Tip number two, I want you to incorporate at least three. So not one, not even two, but three light sources in your room. And you cannot count your overhead light as one of those sources. Oh, I know, right? Trust me, when you have more light sources in your room, it helps create a more layered effect in the space. And it also helps offset the terrible, terribly unflattering overhead light that you can get. So, you know, when you're in bathrooms sometimes with the light over top and you just feel like you look so hideous, like something that just crawled out of the dead, well, that's what overhead lighting does. It casts a terrible shadow on your face. So if you can do anything to help offset that with additional lighting, then you're golden. So here's a few ways you can incorporate additional light into your room um, without it feeling overwhelming because it's really not that hard. You're gonna look for table lamps. Easy, right? What's great about adding lamps into your space is that it can also serve a more artistic and um, aesthetic purpose as opposed to just a functional purpose. So if you want, you can start looking for lamps that actually add a sculptural effect or maybe um, they add a statement into the room. So when you're selecting your table lamp, just be sure that you are contrasting the finishes of the lamp with in relation to the actual table. So for example, if you're um, getting a lamp for a wood table, then try not to select a wood lamp. When you're making your decision on your lamp, you wanna select a lamp that's in and around the same height as the table that you're gonna be placing it on. So another option for a lamp in a room is going to be a floor lamp. So a floor lamp's great as well because what it does, in addition to being functional, is it adds an element of height in the room, which is really important. You wanna make sure that all of your elements in your room aren't the same height. So you can accomplish this by adding floor lamps or furniture of varying heights. So that's really great too. Now you can also consider for either of these options a task lamp. A task lamp is really just a lamp that directs the light into one specific place as opposed to distributing the light evenly around the room. Another option for a lamp or a light uh, source in your room could be a sconce. So sconces get a bad rap. I mean they do feel very traditional but sconces are not all they used to be. They have come a long way and you can get super modern sconces like CB2 has some really great options. I'll provide some options for you on my website. Um, but basically you can really um, maximize space when you're using a sconce. It's a great opportunity if you don't have a side table and you don't have space on the floor near your chair or where you're sitting, you can actually opt for a sconce instead and it would go on the wall. And what's great is that sconces and wall fixtures no longer need to be hardwired. So you can actually affix them to the wall and simply plug them into an outlet and you're good to go. This takes me to our final tip, and this one's super simple, and it's all about dimmers. Get your lights on dimmers, specifically your overhead light. That overhead light needs to be on a dimmer 
you need to tone down that light because it's nice to have it on but like I said you don't want to have guests over and you don't want to have them looking at you with that unflattering light and vice versa what you can do is actually buy an attachment that will um, connect to any of your lamps and plug into the wall which will then also allow any regular lamp to become a dimmer two considerations when you're installing dimmers number one please don't do it yourself get some experts in there to help you because it's a hazard I don't want that. I don't want any bad, weird, crazy stuff happening to you or your home. Um, number two, make sure that your bulb is a dimmable bulb and just do that by checking the package. Okay, Amy, so I really do hope that was helpful, but as I promised, I'm going to give you a few more specific tips to your situation. Get a dimmer. Get a dimmer for your overhead light. Number two, I want you to check all of your lamps for what wattage they actually have, what bulb wattage you have in each of them. Now, I know you said that the, they're way too dim, um, so maybe there's the opportunity to go up in wattage. Now, again, when we're talking about lights, uh, and bulbs and being careful. I want you to make sure that you don't exceed the recommended wattage because obviously that's another hazard and we're not going there. So if you want to be able to have lights on while you're watching TV and not have a glare, then what you want to do is get your lights on either side of the TV as close to the wall that the TV on, is on as possible. That way there's no chance that it can be actually reflected into the light. And now I would suggest pushing those out as far away from the TV as possible. That way it's not um, distracting you while you watch TV. But again, get it on a dimmer, um, even if you have to get a connector to add the dimmer, because even if you want some light while you're watching TV, chances are you want it to be fairly um, dim. So those are just a few tips to help you finally get some light in your life. If you liked this video, be a pal. Give me the thumbs up. And you know what? You should probably also subscribe because I'm going to do this each and every week for you. I'm going to give you tips, advice on how to create a home you love. And also, I think we should be dream homies. Yep. How? Well, I'm really glad you asked because all you need to do is go to dreamhomies.com, request access, and then you'll get to ask for feedback, advice, collaborate with people just like you who are hell-bent on creating a home that they love. That's all for this week, guys. Bye, homies. So, you know, fill you in on a little secret. It's a little something I like to call wasting a complete hour of your day, recording something only to find out that if you don't put the camera right in the middle of what you're doing, the whole time you're filming it's going to look like you're looking like this. Like this. It's not good. So, here I am. Recording it again. Because I think it's awkward to have the person that you're watching on video looking over here. Because you guys are over here. So you know what? You take the good, you take the bad. And there you have. That's right, guys. Those are the facts of life.